Okay, so um, this is our first video of for the RV12 yes. project. Uh, and so in this video, what are we doing? We're unboxing our van's RV12 and putting all the pieces that you can see that are blue as we're walking it over to a carpet to uh, inventory it to make sure we have all the pieces that Van sent us. Okay, and so we should note that the RV-12 comes in multiple kits. It comes in multiple as kits. As do all the Van's aircraft. Do you know, remember which kit this was? This, this the first one was the tail kit? That's right, this is the tail kit, sometimes called the empennage kit, right? The, the rear end of the plane. And, and the, so the reason yeah. why you typically start with this kit is because it's the easiest one to build. And if you make mistakes, it's the cheapest parts to replace. Yes. And so you typically want to start with this when you're first building because you're more likely to make mistakes early on, and so it's easier to fix things. And we've made some mistakes. And so Dad, we, Dad's made a few mistakes. Yeah. Uh, as is normal, but part of the skill of building an aircraft is learning to fix your mistakes. So here we are, We and I, I recall you opened this crate. Remember how you actually had to open it? You have to open it with a crowbar and Using a hammer, you would have to hammer all the sides, and that took a good five minutes. And the thing you'd have to be worried about is once you lifted the lid for the crate, there were tons of nails <clears throat> onto it, and I just had to be aware of not getting poked with nails or stabbed into the fingers with nails. <clears throat> we got it open, and immediately we found a bunch of stuff. First of all, what's mom doing? Uh, my mom, she is doing, un she's wrapping up all the paper that you can see is on the material that I'm holding currently. And once it's unwrapped, we just fold it to make sure there's no parts in it. And if there's any, like, any small parts, we'll also put that into the inventory. That's right. So that paper is there certainly just to protect yeah, uh, stuff. Yeah, for extra protection and yeah. well, there's a lot of damaging. It. We just need to dispose of it because uh, it takes up a lot of space. So taking parts out, you'll notice a couple of different things, right? Parts right there. Some of them have blue, some of them are not. What, what would you describe the blue as? The blue was a like kind of a protective coating mm -hmm. for like plastic. And what you would do is you would have to, some of the little corners, they would have a thing where you could lift it up and you would pull it back and it would show the aluminum metal that Van's aircraft uses for all their airplanes. Right. So we'd have to unwrap it and sometimes they would have stickers underneath the blue stuff. So that would be where you'd have to get the, uh, what's it called? It's where you wipe the- Just describe what you can. It's, it's like nail polish remover. Acetone? Uh, acetone, yeah, acetone. So we'd get acetone and you would have to wipe off the sticker. And then what we would do to make sure we have all the parts is we would label them with Sharpie, bright blue Sharpie to make tell us which part is which. And then Vans also gave us a little instruction sheet that would tell you all the instructions for how to build the parts and would also have a pre before build instructions of how to list all the st uh, st stuff that we have for the inventory. Yep. So the blue, the blue is just protective coating. It's used so the parts don't get scratched up, particularly skins and some of the thinner parts. Uh, exactly. As they're packed up. And as you notice, how was how were these parts actually packed all in there? What what are we taking off there? Uh, we're taking off like the skins from. You no, know, like what are we cutting? cutting stuff. We were cutting tape. Yeah, there's, so there's extra lots tape. Lots of tape put on there. It's all taped into place. Uh, and so that makes it even more challenging because uh, you got to cut that tape away without actually cutting into the parts, right? Yeah. See here. All those parts are stuck together with tape, all the flat skins and everything. Underneath the flat skins that my dad was cutting were extra other pieces in between it. So right now we switched the cameras over to show the uh, to show us our inventorying start. So what are we doing? So my mom is cutting some pieces with a uh, box knife. 
she was being very careful not to cut herself and or cut into the parts or cut into the parts because if you cut into the parts it would give scratches on the metal and sometimes if they're really deep scratches it doesn't look very professional and it sound it looks really bad yeah it can also damage the parts it can also damage the parts too so <clears throat> my dad is putting s some papers into the yellow kind of binder sheets so we know which parts we're going into. Well, those are the plans. Those are the plans for the um, RV fans, RV12. Yep. So we're just unboxing all the metal pieces and then we, those pieces are gonna be eventually used for parts of the airplane such as the stabilator and so on. Right. So just a lot of inventory, a lot of taking parts out of protective housings. All the parts have numbers, or names and letters, so we have to make sure we got all of the parts. There's an inventory list, and we make sure we received everything, which we did. I don't think there was anything missing. There might have been, like, maybe a nail or so, but I don't think there was anything concerning that we lost. We didn't have. And it just takes a while to go through and inventory all the stuff. It took maybe two hours, maybe hour 32 hours, because you want to make sure you have all the pieces, you have to make sure you uh, do that, and we switch the camera again to show us unwrapping even more pieces and nails and rivets. And I'm... Alright, well there's no nails in this plane. Well, not nails, <laughs> rivets. I'm... In this shot, it looks like I'm struggling to even open this stuff, because... Some of the stuff that we got was very hard to open, and if you wanted to use a knife, it would probably not be worth it because it's like just too close. But right now, you can see that my sister, she's calling off the names for all the little tiny pieces and bags that we have that we're putting into a box. Yeah, so there's a ton of hardware that goes with this craft, right? There's rivets, yes. there's bolts, there's nuts, there's clevises, Pins, there's bushings, so all that comes in bags uh, that come in a kit as part of a box and you need to go through and make sure you got everything. You don't necessarily have to count every single rivet, you just need to make sure you got a package of rivets that match the size that you're supposed to get. But there's also little pieces and parts and you can get different bolts of sizes and you want to count those because you want to make sure you got the right bolts, the right yeah. length of bolts. Um, so when you go to actually need to use them, you don't, you don't find something missing or you don't find uh, a bolt the wrong size. Exactly. You didn't exactly yeah. So you take some time to go through and find all the pieces and parts and count all the bags and make sure you got it. But it's an important part of the, the kit process and frankly one of my favorite things to do. I love getting a box and going through yeah. and opening it up and taking all that stuff out. That's a that's a fun part of building. So some of the tiny pieces my mom has, uh, they're making sure we have all the right amount of them, making sure they're doing the exact same which they did um, end up being the exact same. Yeah. Well, sometimes sometimes they give you multiples of the same parts. You have to yeah, count. Yeah. Sometimes you just have one of similar parts, right? Sometimes it's a right <laughs> and a left, and so you got to make sure you got the right and the left, uh, you know, because they're mirror images of each other. And you, need to, you need to check that off. Yeah. There's a there was one part that had the exact same number. Not the exact same number. It was at least. 20 of the same exact piece so they had two in each other so it'd be two by t t two times ten which is 20 so it'd be 20 pieces total and those were confusing pieces because they're uh we don't know what they're used for yet hmm. yeah so we changed the camera again to show her to see um yeah, more a, inventory. Well, there's a list. See here, she's going down the list. She's going down the list, off, checking sure it off. And uh, we're checking all the. Uh, right now, we're checking all the. I don't know what we're checking. A bunch of pieces. A bunch of pieces. Make sure they're the same sizes and so, but. All right, so this is an important part of building, and uh, you got to get all this out of the way before you actually start construction. So maybe in the next video, we'll actually. Start Again, going. putting pieces together. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to Hot Shot Arrow.